Hello and thanks for joining. Today's topic is going to be a math tip about working to solve or simplify algebraic expressions. So what I'm going to do is walk through three quick examples of simplifying algebraic expressions. Just wanted to point out that all of these tutorials will be posted on my website which is www.10minutetrain.com uh, for your convenience and then also I've got some other links here that may be uh, of interest to you. So I'm going to jump right in and I am going to start with the first one. I'll do a fairly basic example here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one, I'm going to do 2x plus 5x plus 3. And so what we want to do is we're going to use the distributive property here and then we're going to um, combine like terms. So to solve that, we're going to, or to simplify it, we're going to do 2x plus, and now we're going to use um, 5 times x, which will be 5x, and then we're going to do 5 times positive 3, which will be plus 15. So now we combine our like terms, so this is a like term, and this is a like term, so we're going to combine those together. So 7x or 2x plus 5x will be 7x plus 15. Okay, and of course that could be written 15 plus 7x. It really doesn't matter, but I'm going to leave it like this. And now I'm going to go on and I'm going to do a little bit more complicated of a scenario. I'm going to clear that out. And then this next one, I'm going to have two variables in here. So I'm going to have, I'm going to do 3x minus 2y minus 2 x plus 8 okay so what I'm going to do here I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other one 3x minus 2y minus now I need to use the distributive property negative 2 times x is going to be minus 2x and then negative 2 times positive 8 is going to be negative 16. So that's going to be minus 16. If that were x minus 8, it would be negative 2 times negative 8, which would be a negative times a negative would be a positive, so it would be plus 16. So we're doing the same thing there. Negative 2x and negative 2 times 8. Okay, so now to simplify, we've got like terms here and there. So we're going to do 3x minus 2x is going to be 1x minus 2y minus 16. Or, to simplify it more, 1x is the same thing as saying x minus 2y minus 16. Okay, so that's that example. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one more example here. And just probably a little more complicated. Uh, but I just want to go through this because it's an important point to make about like terms. So this one is going to be 3x squared plus 5x minus 6. Okay, so we're going to have 3x squared plus 5 times x. Well, 5 times x. So we're using distributive property plus 5 times negative 6. So that's going to be a positive times a negative. So that's going to be 6 times 5 is 30, but it's going to be minus 30. Okay, so now, do we have any like terms? 3x squared and 5x? Those are not like. So you have to leave them separate. So that's going to be as simple as you're going to get. 3x squared plus 5x minus 30. And actually, I will go ahead and do one more here. It's maybe a little bit more complicated, but I just wanted to give you a good examples so you had plenty to work with. So I'm going to do 6x minus 3y minus x minus 3y. Okay, plus 5xy. Okay? So how we simplify that, we're going to do 6x minus 3y. And then over here, 
even though there's not a 1 there, there's really an implied 1. So it's really negative 1 times x. So it's going to be minus, you can either put x or 1x, it really doesn't matter. We'll do 1x just to make sure it's clear. And then negative 1 times negative 3y is going to be negative 1 times negative 3 is 3. So that's going to be plus 3y plus 5xy. Okay, so now we've got like terms, we've got three, negative 3y three and 3y, and 6x and negative 1x. So 6x minus 1x is going to be 5x. And again, if that didn't have the 1 there, it would still be the same. And then you've got negative 3y and plus 3y is actually they, they uh, negate each other out, so that's 0, so you, you don't have that anymore plus you have 5xy which was not a like uh, which was not a like term there so or uh, a um, yeah like term sorry and that's what I want to share with you hope that helps and thanks for joining take care